Oh man, hey everybody, how's it going? So uh, you might have noticed something a little bit different today. Um, and yeah, me too. I don't really like this hat either, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me go put this away. I don't know, probably over here, it's fine. But yeah, for the happy holidays. Um, we're gonna be starting, this is kind of a small like mini series. Um, there's gonna be three coffee beans that I'm gonna be trying kind of in sequence. This is probably gonna be the first one. This is the, this is from the Dominican Republic. It's the Ramirez Estate. Um, it's a honey process. It's a red Keturah farmed at 1400 meters. And yeah, from the Dominican Republic. Um, I kind of roasted this up like a little bit earlier throughout the week just to kind of test things out and test some other like roasting processes, but it's pretty good. Um, I really like to roast it pretty light. I'm not sure if you can really see this too well, but um, usually everything that I try to roast is like a little first crack and then maybe a little bit of development afterwards or just to even out the roast a little bit more, but never really try to get it to second crack. So um, let's go roast them up real quick and then, you know, we can go try it out today and use our espresso machine. Yeah, so usually for this roaster, um, I kind of find success in about, I don't know, usually around like 70, 70 grams for this uh, popcorn popper. It's a Brentwood, just for fun, just for everyone. But um, yeah, I mean, you can get any popcorn popper. I know I've, I've put a video a while ago on like how to roast coffee so if you want to check that out later uh, feel free if you don't want to that's okay too um i need to go find my scoop somewhere over here and always losing stuff huh all right uh yeah so we're measuring out 70 grams let's tear this plate out 20 30 63 72.3. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, in the ballpark of 70. We're going to lose a lot of weight during uh, the roasting process anyways, but uh, I'll probably see you out there, or maybe not. You'll just probably just see me back here with it roasted, and then we can actually go try the coffee. All right. See ya. All right. I usually like to time this out for, I don't know, around six minutes is usually when it's good or when it's done. So let's just start. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is sure delightful. And since we know place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And it doesn't show signs of stopping, but I've got some corn for popping Lights so turn down low Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow And we finally kiss goodnight Oh, I hate going out in the storm If you really hold me tight All the way home I'll be warm And the fire is slow dying but until say goodbye as long as you love me so let it snow let it snow let it snow Uh, yeah, so not quite the 30 second shot that we wanted. Um, you know, that's kind of like the, the deal with espresso. You really have to be really fiddly with it, you know? And you really gotta get your grind size and um, grind time. And I guess like the age of the coffee beans have to be in account with it too. Cause I actually used the, the old coffee beans that I had and um, I guess like for 18 grams, like you really have to like dial in the, the grind size and 
I guess the amount too, to change the flow. Cause um, it was about 20 seconds for 40 grams. So for a two to one ratio, it should be around more 30 seconds, but we can try it out still. Yeah, super sour. <laughs> Usually, um, we just go make an Americano just to make things better. Yeah, so. Okay, that looks about good as I expect it to be. Let's turn this power off. Um, yeah. This is actually a Breville infuser. Yeah, I think it's Breville infuser. It's a pretty good machine. I've had it for, shoot, maybe, mm, I don't know, around five, six years almost. Um, kind of old, trusty, reliable machine. Really don't have to do too much maintenance to it. All you just gotta do is like a back flush it every once in a while when maintenance light comes on and then kind of rush through like a vinegar solution just to get rid of some of the lime scale inside but man this thing's a tank but i guess for the coffee yeah the hot water kind of even it out a little bit sometimes um if you're not used to drinking espresso uh it can be a little bit strong just uh drink it in double shot by itself but you also got to really dial in your espresso to make it taste good um unfortunately today didn't get that but I had like really low supply of like my old coffee beans and you're not really supposed to brew up uh, coffee beans that you just roasted. Um, you just want to, some people can, I mean, you don't have to uh, follow along to that statement because you can brew it up right away, but it's just, there's still so much gas built up inside. It's not going to be the best thing for um, brewing coffee, especially for espresso. Um, there's going to be so much like gas still in that um your dial in settings aren't going to be the same like the f on the first day compared to the second day into the third day so probably like two to three days um the beans like really off gas and um things get a little bit more consistent so yeah um it's pretty good coffee uh it's it's very fruity um since it's a honey processed uh you get a lot of like those um, really, I guess like funky flavors, but it's also not that funky compared to like other naturals. It's very sweet, tangy, um, very fruity. Um, it has like a, a kind of a, like a tartness to it. Other than that, I know the notes say that they have, it's kind of like milky and vanilla-y and like a, a nutty aftertaste. Um, not quite with this one, for me at least. Um, I definitely do taste some of the nuttiness, but not too much vanilla. I probably have to experiment a little bit more with roasting to kind of find a profile to more like accentuate um, the details of it. Maybe in this new batch, I might taste it, but yeah, that's been a pretty great day. Um, pretty short video and I hope you like it. Happy holidays. I'll probably be roasting up two more uh, batches two different styles of coffee, both from Ethiopia, but um, two different locations and two different, I guess, land race or heirloom type of coffees that I'll be bringing up. So look forward to those and see you next time. Take care. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost